So what was it like to sell real estate back in the last crash? Let me tell you, I was broke, 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 broke. The average sales price was about $125,000 and you had to wait seven, 12 months, sometimes two years to get paid on any deal because literally everything was a short sale. Buyers had to take and buy properties as is and not like a little as is, like the sellers didn't wanna do anything. The sellers had no money to do anything. So there it was bugs everywhere, roaches, bugs, there were infestations, dirty carpet. The buyers were like, woohoo, they were willing to pay it, right? It was $125,000, but you had to wait. So at one point, I think I had about 40 homes under contract, but I was broke because I was just waiting waiting, waiting, waiting. I was waiting for the bank to respond. I was waiting for the, you know, the attorneys to do all the negotiations so that we could get an approval and we could close. So it took a long time to get those properties to actually sell. Meanwhile, what did I do for money? You ask anything, literally anything. They were called BPOs and you tend to get paid 30 to $50. So you had to drive by, you had to look at the homes, you had to take the photos, you actually had to do the market analysis on it, which they call the broker price opinion. They would pay 30 or $50 to do each one of those. And oh yes, by the way, I did have to split that with the broker. So when I asked realtors like, how bad do you really wanna stay in real estate? I don't know, would, would you do that to stay in real estate? Any realtor can have a great year, but if you want to be in this business through all markets, being willing to be adaptable, making changes, changing your strategies, changing the way that you market, changing your messaging, everything about your business may have to change. Are you willing to do that?